What's up guys, welcome to a video on that Beanie Boy showing you guys how to stream your Xbox 360 or PlayStation 3, 4, whatever console you have footage onto Twitch, Ustream, YouTube, any of these streaming softwares without XSplit, which I'm actually using right now to record this video, so there you go guys, have a trippy view of that. Um, so yeah, straight into the video. This here is the software called Harpark Capture. This is made by Harpark, so it's literally made for the HDPVR and HDPVR Rocket and all of this software. This is made for it. So here we go. Um, why is the... There we go. Here's the window for it. This is Harpark Capture, so if we go into the capture area here, just start up this, starting the device, input resolution, 1, 2, 80. Oh, it's not working because it's on stream easy at the moment, but you get these five tabs at the top here called capture, where you can just record normal footage like you would on the normal software you get with it, which I forgot the name of. Um, I'll think of it in a minute. Um, also, you got the edit tool. There we go, just open that up. So let's find out what that other software is called quick. Arcsoft, that's it. Um, it's like the exact same as it would do on Arcsoft, but you've got these extra options like here, which is less aggro. Video quality, very high, which is all the way up to 14 megabytes per second, all the way down to 0 0.70 megabytes per second. But it's variable and constant, so you can choose that. Then you've got your video input and your audio input, which you can just choose as HDMI, component, as a video, or compose site, which you keep on HDMI because I'm using the HDPVR2, as you can see up here. Um, then you've got a microphone input here, which is really useful because then you can sort of just do basically everything in one window. So, <coughs> sorry guys. Oof. Um, you've got the game volume here, so you can choose how large you want your game to be. You can be full volume, so how you're hearing it, or half the volume you're hearing it, or quarter of the volume. And then you've got your voice, which you can have max there, there, or there, wherever. I usually have mine about here, game volume about there, there. And then I'll keep this probably about 9 megabytes per second, so it's not OTT, but it's not under quality. Then you've got your editing window here. So you've got your recordings, which you just sort of um, play, for instance. Let's just play that, which I was playing. Um, extinction on my last video, so I recorded it on this software because this software is actually beast. There is no also, there's not, there's none of that um, delayed recording really. You just click this and it starts. That's it. That's that's all you need. Then you got your upload to YouTube section here, so I can just like press upload and that upload that. Now this is the part we want. Stream easy. This is a separate software inputted into Harpar Capture, but this version is better than the separate software. I've got it, the normal software and I'll try and get it up for you guys. I think I've got it in here. Editing and is it in here? Mm, unless I'm missing it out. No, it's not. I'm not too sure then. Let's just quickly stream. Um, no, it doesn't look like it. Okay, so let's just <laughs> trust me, it's its own software. Okay, so here it is. This is Stream Easy. This is what we'll be using to stream. What you want to do is you want to go into here, just select your capture device, for instance, me, HD PVR2 Gaming Edition. You've got your Start Stream button. You press this when you want to start your stream and when you actually want to do something on your stream. Then again, you've got your video and audio output. And then you've got your mic settings once again, which basically means people can hear you. Um, over your game or the game over you or what, however you want to do it. You've also got your mute button there so like you get an interruption like I always seem to do with my family because they're nosy bastards. You can just click that and then it just mutes you completely. I'm hoping that didn't mute me by somehow. But then you can, then you've also got your stream quality again. So you can upload the 6 megabyte per second which is the top quality which I always seem to stream on and it's fine for me but then I'll sometimes crash my games. Then you can do lowest again which sucks. So, but this is the highest quality you can go. And then you got your actual services, your channel, and why is that on Miami? Then you've actually got all this. So service, I use Twitch and YouTube. I don't bother with Ustream, never even heard of it. Um, actually I have, but still. Then you've got your channels, which you can just refresh your items. I've got that beanie boy, that's all I need. Then your location. So you can pick out of all of these places where you want to stream from. I want to stream from London because that's the closest to me. And then finally, you've got your like little window here, and then you've got settings. And there you can put in your own little watermark. So, for instance, this is mine, but I haven't bothered putting it in my videos yet. I tried it out in one of my other videos. That looks freaking weird. That looks strange. But yeah, this is another cool little function. Oh crap! Okay, continue. They just crashed it. Um, yep, yeah, definitely crashed it. Um, okay, that's not too good. So, 
why don't we just hop into showing how to download the software shut up and stop it doesn't always do that I think it's because I just pulled it out too far and over to like here but anyway let's um while that crashes and kills itself let's let's um work this out go away no one cares about you all right first of all you want to go to this website here it's Harpark it's the official Harpark website you want to go to www.harpark.com forward slash capture that's all you really need click on the link if you just type in Harpark capture and then you come into here why am I on USA anyway here you go this is um, what you got the compat compatibility is Harpark capture supports all modes of the HD PVR rocket and the HD PVR 2 including the HD PVR 2 gaming edition which I have the HD PVR 2 GE plus and the HD PVR 2 model 1512 there's also limited support for the original HD PVR, so if you use the normal HD PVR, you're going to have limited ways of using this and the Colossus. Harpark Capture is free for Rocket, HD PVR 2, Colossus, and the original HD PVR users. So if you have the drivers installed in your computer, you don't have to pay for it, you just need to download it. Also, you can have Showsbid, WinTV, V2, and Harpark Capture installed at the same time on your PC, but you can only record from one program at a time. But that's good because on the Harpark Capture, because it's crashed, I can't show you, which I'm just going to sort out in a minute, because <laughs> I really can't be asked. Hang on, let's just quickly close that down, and it's not even on here. Wow, okay. Brilliant crash. Um, just close the window then. Not even gonna work. <laughs> That's just brilliant. Anyway, so, if I show you guys, what you could do is you will record and you can stream and record at the same time by going to the advanced settings. Also, it has the microphone mixer there, as said, and this is how you download it. Harpar Capture version 3.2.133 with recording hotkey, multi-track audio recording, improved streaming and export to MP4 function. So you can export your videos that you record to MP4, or you could just generally do everything. So all you have to do is reboot, is just install it and reboot your PC and it's there. That's all you need to do. So this is going to save you guys a lot of time trying to get it to work, get your streaming working on XSplit, because what I've noticed with XSplit is it lags the crap out of your quality, your video, your stream. You have this really limited function over the HD PVR because you have to literally screen region it, and that is really, really bad. Um, but using the Harpar Capture, which by the way doesn't actually crash, but I just kind of crashed myself. I don't actually want, no, I don't really want your Windows 7 basics. Um, I'm still trying to close that bloody thing. But yep, yeah, anyway. Um, that's about it really, just need to boot your P reboot your PC once it's installed from clicking that link here. Um, just plug it back in and reset your HD PVR. That's it. That's all you really need for quick and easy streaming. And trust me guys, it is so much easier using this over than, you know, the other software, XSplit and these other things like Open Broadcast. This is the easy way of doing it because this is made by the people that made the HD PVR. I believe you can use this with other software. You might be able to use it with the Elgato, I don't know. Probably wouldn't recommend it. Might have like a Harpark Elgato War or something on your computer, that'd be quite funny. Maybe not if it gives you like Trojans and shit, but still. Um, that sort of brings us to the end of this video guys that's all I can really tell you I recommend you get this I'll leave the links in the description if you're too lazy to type it in like I probably was so I was tempted to find a video so thanks for watching guys rate comment subscribe join the army guys join the beanie army bye